All right, in this video, I'm going to show how to access the keys in this Roland keyboard here. This is a digital keyboard, but unlike most other keyboards, you can't just flip it over and take out all the screws. It's a grand piano, so they keep the screws a little bit hidden. So the first thing we go to is these panels right here. They just pop out. This is just compressor fit, and there's those four screws under there, and that's on both sides. I'll set these aside and we'll take these out. And then the music shelf will come right up. Oh, I almost forgot there's one more screw that's hidden back here behind the music stand under this little pad right there and that's just a press down right there it's a little screwdriver and be very careful not to scratch the finish on this just kind of work that up and out let's get that extra screw that's hiding down underneath there They like to be clever and sneaky. There we are. Okay, now we can lift this shelf off here and set that aside. All right. So the next thing we're going to take out will be this panel right here. And there are four sets of screws on each side. These two hold this block in place and these two hold the panel in place. So we'll pull these out and then we can slide that on out of the way. side. Okay, now this next part is a little bit tricky. So we'll move the fallboard out of the way. We can't take it out until we remove this console here. And so this backboard just rides on this rail. So we'll just lean that out of the way and then pick this up. So now the fallboard is more or less uh, out of the way so we can get to these screws here. So there are three brackets on the back holding this console in place. So maybe it's just these two. So these here. And then there are two brackets on each end with a screw on the back and a screw in the front. So we're gonna have to take out these key blocks at the end as well. I'll go ahead and remove these screws first. Assuming my drill won't quit on me. this down so I can get in these and in here. There we go, KR1070, that's the one. Okay. And the screws for the key blocks are down underneath, surrounded by, I don't know, a good 20 some odd other screws. But the main thing is they'll be centered with the key block. And so I'll just go down here and there are two screws holding it in place, one in front and one in back. And so they'll just line up with the center of it right there. We'll pull these out. Then, oh. Pop on out, just like that. And there's that last guy there on the front end of this bracket that's holding the console in place. These two I'll leave with the key block. Go there. And then 
the same deal on this side. Two screws that line up with the key block. There we go. Okay, now we can remove the console. So we'll lower the fall board back down. And we're just gonna move this out of the way. We don't need to completely remove it. Be sure to get around the uh, the disc reader right there. Good old fashioned floppy disc reader. See, I'm not that old and I remember when those were new. Okay. Balance it so that it won't fall down on us. There we go. And now we can take the fall board out there. There's a pin on each end and it just slides on out. Um, maybe use a screwdriver to wedge it out a little bit. There we go. Get that started so I can grab it. There we go. Same thing on the other end. And there's the fall board. And there we have access to the keyboard and all of the keys. So on this piano, this is where it gets familiar with all other rolling keyboards. Um, the problem that they usually deal with are these little hammers breaking underneath the keys as these little guys here and the keys they're just a little clamp fit right there so I'll screw it over again and so all we have to do is just kind of pull this apart and I can even do that with my finger so that it comes off and then this will unhook from there and there's the key pull that out and the hammer sits down underneath there, I already removed the old ones, got new ones in. So I'll just, I'll move one of these good ones out of the way so I can show you how they sit in there. Hammer, it just comes out like that. So you pull it up from the back and pull it through here. And there you go. So that one is okay, it's a little cracked. But it's okay for now. Those other ones had completely broken. And one common thing you find with these keyboards is one hammer will break and a piece of it will kind of fall down underneath. And so the key that'll get stuck might be an adjacent key. It might be a couple of different keys. So those keys may not necessarily be the ones that are broken. It's the hammer from the one that is broken that fell apart. And so come around over here. You can kind of see how the mechanism works. You press down on the key here and it lifts up on that on that hammer. There we go. Back and pushes that up and it's just got a lead weight on the end. And so when it breaks, the hammer gets stuck down underneath and the key won't and the key will just drop. And then it won't come back up. So like this one, I took the hammer out already that was broken and so it's just down like that. So when they break, that's what they do. And so we'll take the new one and put it in. So I've got two white ones for the white keys and then one black one. The black one's got the longer elbow there. And obviously the best thing you can do is take the old ones and then do a comparison so that you're sure of what you have. So we'll feed that through here. And I did not clean the lubricant off from before, so I don't have to put more in. This is the black one. And it sits just like that. So we put the key back in, and just make sure to get the hook around this little rail. There we go. And just press it in place. And there we go. Key is back to normal. The black key here. 
just like that. And then same thing on this one over here that's broken. Pop that out. That's in the right spot. Seat it in well enough. There we go. Okay. And there you have it. So we've got all of the keys repaired on this piano. And more often than not, when a couple are cracked, then there will be more that are cracked or broken. So it's usually a good idea to inspect the whole piano. But this time around, she just wanted me to replace the ones that were busted so that she'd have a fully functional piano. And then to go back together, just do everything in reverse that we already did. And there you have it.